Hey, what's up you guys? So this is kind of weird. I haven't filmed a video like this in quite some time. I am backlit, sorry about that. But I wanted to do just kind of like a really laid back, chill vloggy vlog type video because I missed last Sunday uploading because personal reasons. And I just knew I needed to take that Sunday off. But I didn't want to take this Sunday off, which initially I had planned an awesome formulating for beginners video, but I realize it's not gonna be done in time and I don't wanna rush it. So instead we're just gonna be doing a chill vloggy vlog. I'm channeling Donald Trump with my hands today because I did self tanner last night and I was a little lazy about it because it was so late in the day. So before I get into the lab and doing the exciting stuff, I need to chill on the computer for a bit and do boring computer work like making some new labels because I am releasing an eight ounce option of my facial cleansers. This lighting is awful, let me turn around. <laughs> but I have eight ounce options for my facial cleansers now on Etsy and they're plastic bottles. I don't know, I'm just super excited for these new products that are gonna be released. So I'm gonna get to making those labels so I can get into the lab and formulate and you guys can get to the exciting part. Okay, so I ended up only making one label because it's getting pretty late in the day already. But I need to get formulating and stuff. Actually, no. What I need to do is not necessarily formulate, but I need to bottle and jar up all the stuff I made yesterday. So I've got three cleansers, facial mist. I got my new product. Here's what they look like. I'm not gonna tell you guys what they are, but you guys can take a guess down below. I just have a lot of stuff to bottle and jar up, so let's do that.
it's the next day. I don't know, I guess I just stopped vlogging yesterday. This is why I could never be a vlogger. I don't understand how vloggers can like consistently vlog throughout the day and not just like randomly get overwhelmed and then just kind of like forget about vlogging and just not do it. Yesterday, I just finished bottling up everything I needed to bottle up and then I packed some orders and then I went home. But today, I got a haul for you guys. Brambleberry sent me more PR. I feel like a real YouTuber. Thanks, Brambleberry. But Brambleberry, after me and them did a sponsorship together, they did put me on their PR list. It's their Rainforest collection and uh, let's Let's see what's in there. Okay, so the first thing I see in here is a triple butter quick mix. The next thing we have is two ounce craft paperboard push tubes. So I think these would be amazing for like butter, like lotion, lotion bars, but it wouldn't be a bar, it'd be a tube. And five of these retail for $13.99. Then next we have the two ounce black paperboard push tubes and these retail five for $14.99. Then we have two ounce craft paperboard jar and five retail for $12.99. Then we have two ounce white paperboard push tube and five of them retail for $13.99. Then we have the two ounce black paperboard jar and five retail for $13.99. And we got the two ounce white paperboard jar, five of them cost $12.99. Mirror, mirror butter? I am so sorry. I looked up how to say this and literally everything had a different pronunciation. So, um, I'm still excited to try it. Um, one pound of it retails for $41.99. Okay. Um, Google says it's pronounced Kapuka. That's actually way simpler than I expected. And I hope that is correct. Google, please do not, um, disappoint me and fail. And one pound of this butter retails for $42.99. Then we have some foaming noodles and that is uh, SCI. And I've worked with SCI many, many times, but I've never worked with the noodles before. And this is an eight ounce bag and it retails for $9.99. Okay, and then we got some Bubble Boost. This is Cocomito Propyl Betaine. And one pound of the Bubble Boost retails for $6.99. Okay, and then we have their Rainforest Collection Fragrances. Also, by the way, the entire uh, fragrance collection retails for $26.99, and each of these are two ounces. The hibiscus and honey is described as the perfect combination of fruity and floral notes. Okay, then we have a fern and acai. Honestly, it is giving me rainforest. Now we got forest oud and balsam. Oh my gosh, I can't pronounce anything. Ooh, whoa. I wasn't expecting that. That smells, hold on, I want. I need a better whiff of this. This is unique. It's like every time I smell it, it smells a little different. See, that time it smelled fruity and the time before it smelled very masculine. And that time was like a mix of both. I really like that. See, I've never been the biggest fan of like just earth scents on their own. But when they're blended like this, this is good. I like this. Okay, and lastly, we have Jungle Waterfall. No way. It smells like an anime candle I got of my favorite anime character. Okay, now that I'm getting my nose in it more, it doesn't exactly smell like my candle, but close enough. Thank you so much, Brambleberry, for sending me all of these items. You guys always make me feel special. Okay, I completely forgot I was vlogging today, and I just opened up a package. It's some of my packaging. They're two ounce glass jars. I should have filmed me opening them up. I did film it on my phone. But here they are, and I got this many. Each one contains 24, and I ordered some more, but I ordered more from a different website, but those are on back order. And then here are the lids. So here's what I need to do. I need to make my new scrub I'm releasing. I'm super excited. The scrub goes right along with these new products. It's gonna be, well, you, you don't have to purchase it as a duo, but I'm gonna make it a duo or purchase separate. So I'm gonna make that.
Okay, so while the phase A of that heats up and melts, I need to wait for that before I add the phase B into it. So while that's melting, I'm going to work on the lip scrub tests. And I have four different formulas I'm going to test out. Okay, so while I have the new scrub chilling there, I'm waiting for it to like start, like for it to start to solidify before I add in everything else. I just want it to have like a little bit of viscosity, but it's like still pretty thin. But it looks like all of these lip scrubs are all melted. So I'm gonna take these off, give them a little mix and let them sit there and chill until they're just cool down a bit. Okay, so now while everything is cooling down, I'm gonna test out that body scrub I was talking about with the silica. So I need to put on my respirator. Okay, here we go. scrubs done I probably have marks on my face from the, from the respirator but I'm gonna let those chill probably until tomorrow until I actually like you know check out the viscosity of all of them it looks like the silica scrub base that I have to heat up is all done all I needed to do was melt the shea butter so I knew it wouldn't take long and now I gotta do phase B and then pour phase B into phase A Here is that silica scrub I just made. I do feel like it's a little too thick. I want it to be a little kind of like, I, want, I wish it had like a little bit of a droop to it. Like while I'm holding it like this, I wish it would like droop a little. It might change overnight, it's possible. So I am gonna let this sit overnight and I think I'm gonna do like three other experiments. But before I do that, I need to go back to the very first scrub I made. This is the one that's for a new product in my Etsy shop. It's kind of like nice and like creamy now. Now, I'm a little bit worried it might be too thin. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this scrub. for my shop is looking good. I think that's gonna turn out perfect actually now that I added the sugar to it, like the viscosity is a little different. But I'm just getting tired, kind of done vlogging. And yeah, I'm just gonna do a few more experiments with these. And then I have a couple orders I need to pack up. I think it's only like three orders, so it's not too bad. And then I'm gonna go home. So it's next day now and I have a haul for you guys. I forgot I placed an order with Brambleberry and that arrived yesterday, right before I left. So I wanna show you guys what I got. And I got an order from Lotion Crafter. So let's start with Brambleberry. The first thing I got is these poppy seeds. And I got them for scrubs. I am trying to up my body scrub game. I want to redo all the scrubs I sell in my Etsy shop. And I'm just planning a lot of scrub formulas for my channel because I noticed all of my most popular videos are all scrubs. So am I just like the scrub girl? Then I got some coconut shell powder. There's actually a scrub sold like at Walmart and stuff that I want to recreate and it's got coconut shell powder. And I didn't know these existed, but they're, is it popping? Bursting beads, pink bursting beads. They had a few different colors. They're pretty pricey, but they're supposed to swell up in water and then burst. So kind of like those, I don't know, I think this is like when I was 13, the, what was it, like orange morning burst facial cleanser. Do you guys remember this? I'm thinking that's what these are. So that will be fun. 
And one more thing from Brambleberry, this is a oil soluble pineapple extract. And I got this for a scrub I'm recreating as well. Okay, and now moving on to Lotion Crafter, the first thing I got is a big bag of glycerol stearate. Then I got some ultra low molecular weight hyaluronic acid, Lotion Pro 165. Got some dimethicone, and then lastly we got some sodium carbomer. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul, and hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I definitely have not done a video like this for probably about a year, and uh, hopefully next week I will have a regular like recipe-like video. So I'll talk to you guys then, later. Some music and find someone to listen. Yeah.